Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney and on this channel we answer publicly posted questions from YouTube users getting folks the answers they need from an employment attorney. We have a question here from YouTube user Frankie40 who asks us, um, I'm in the middle of a settlement negotiation but I believe it is crap. The other side want to put a gag order on me and they are taking away my ability to be hired again by them and the other employers affiliated with them. All I would get out of this deal is a change from termination to resignation, but that doesn't seem like it is enough of a settlement for me, especially it is not worth the $4,000 I paid at a lawyer concerning the case. I need some advice ASAP, please. Okay. So it looks like they're offering you, so we don't know anything about your case, right? We have no idea about your claims. We have no idea what claims you're bringing, how strong they are, or anything like that. Looks like you paid an attorney $4,000 for something. We don't know what that was for either. And the current settlement offer appears to be no money. They're offering you $0. Um, confidentiality, probably non-disparagement clauses, so you can't talk about the case at all. And, the, and you're ineligible for rehire. So the only thing they're offering you is to change your termination to a resignation. And you're saying it doesn't seem like it's worth it for you. So my question to you is pretty simple. They appear to think that that's worth something to you. You're telling us it's not. I believe you. If it's not worth anything to you, why are you even considering the settlement? Right? Is there something going on that makes you want to take the deal? Do you gain something from ch changing that termination to resignation? Um, like, what's the story? Why would you accept it if it has no value to you? Is my question to you. Now, the thing that worries me is not that you're ineligible for rehire. That's pretty common. It's that you're ineligible for rehire not only for the employer, but all the affiliated employers. I don't know your line of work. I don't know where you are. But, you know, there's certain gigs where that could be all the potential employers for hundreds of miles. And if that's the case, and you're just going to be completely boxed out of your your chosen line of work, well, that seems like a big problem to me. I don't know why you would cut a deal like that, right? Um, so generally what I would say to you is, it sounds like you have an attorney. Go to your attorney and just say, hey, I have a claim. That claim represents some amount of leverage. Is there something wrong with my claim that the leverage is so low that the only thing I can get here is $0 and changing my termination to a resignation. Like why, why would I take that deal? And see what these already has to say, right? Have a conversation, have a back and forth. And it might be, listen, that might be all the case is worth. Maybe, maybe the case just wasn't healthy from the start. Maybe the story doesn't hold together. And I'm not saying that's true for you. I'm just saying, you know, in a field where the nuisance value is often as high as 15 to $20,000 on, on trash cases, I mean, that's not even true. Not trash. Cases, you know, they're most uh, cases that have merit, but maybe they're short on evidence or something like that, right? Um, why, why then are you getting zero dollars? That's my question for you. The last thing I'll say here is, Frankie, the fact that you paid the lawyer 4000 doesn't change the valuation of the case. I understand why you might not want to take the deal. I'm just saying... I would think about the the deal in the context of like how much leverage you have, right? When you're, I always use the same example. When you're trying to sell a car. You base the price you're asking for the car on how much the car is potentially worth, not how much money you put into the car, right? Like that's not the purchaser's problem. They're gonna say like, oh, it's cool that you put money in the car, but like, I'm not gonna pay for that. I'm gonna pay for the car as it is today, right? And so, too, the employer is going to say, like, I'm not going to pay for your lawyer fees. I'm going to pay you for what we think the claim is worth today. Now, that said, I'm a little skeptical that the claim is worth $0 because you seem like an intelligent person to me, Frankie, and I suspect you wouldn't bring a claim that had no, no merit whatsoever, especially if you're working with an attorney, right? So I guess what I would say to you is let us know 
let us know why the leverage would be so low. Like, what's going on that this is the only offer? What's going on that your attorney is apparently telling you to take this offer or, or not? Is your attorney not telling you to take the offer? Why are you considering the offer? That I would love to know more. Comment to, comment down below, and we'll try to make you follow up here. We can have a more in-depth conversation about it. Um, obviously, we don't know the details here, so I can't like tell you the strengths of your claim, but I can tell you this seems like an incredibly weak offer. That, that's my only thought. Um, what do we have here? I think maybe we can do another question. I guess there's no other questions on this page. All right, fair enough. Questions are answered. Take care, everybody. If this is helpful, like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, share the channel so it can grow. Take care.